Opening my mail six packages at a time is leaving me with a bit of a backlog. So let's rip through this. Okay, let's get started. I really want to know what's in this because it's come from local Sydney, Ronda Fall. No idea who that is. Let's just get it open and find out. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> this is an eBay purchase. This is a coffee warmer, a USB coffee warmer. So I obviously got it to really heat my coffee during a stream, unlike my RGB version, which is just fake. But I also want to, to see how it works. I'm going to do a pull it apart video on this, I think, and find out exactly how it works. But I want to try it first before I pull it apart and break it. Because if there's a mechanism inside that I can duplicate and fit inside my RGB version, then I might see if I can make a coffee warmer that also has RGB lighting in it. Excellent. Okay, next we have desiccant. I know what this is. This is completely unexciting. They're silica gel packs. That's all. I think I ordered 200 of them. Or maybe 100. It'll be in the description. But... Yeah, I put these inside each one of my packages that I send out via Tindy, and I'm running low, so I have to buy some more. Next, hand tool times one. I don't know what this is because it's a really odd shaped package. Oh, you beauty! Oh, this is great. I'm not going to pull this apart because it's going to go everywhere. This is one of three packages that I've ordered from AliExpress that is full of wheels and cogs and metal rods and pulleys and all sorts of things. So for this mechanical project that I had mentioned that I got my continuous rotation servos for, I have no idea how I'm going to build the item that I want to build. Right? I've never built anything mechanical before like this or like anything really. And I don't really have the math skills behind me to work out all the different things with cogs and pulleys and everything else to do what I want to do. So I thought the best way to do it would be to just buy packs of them and literally sit there and put them all together and see if I can get the thing working. Oh, it's going to be a terrible project. It's going to be fantastic if I can do it. That is very cool. Next, we have terminals. I know what these are. They are 2.54 millimeter screw terminals. These are for my Reflow Masters. So there's five on each board and I only ordered 20 last time. So I've got some more. Okay, we have integrated circuits. I think I know what this is. Yes, they are. So these are TTP229. These are the capacitive touch ICs. Those chips here are the same that's on this. The TTP229. This is the module that was in my last mail. Or in a mail before that. I can't even remember anymore. I've lost track. So it's that IC just there. If you remember, I mentioned that I've got a project that I want to use this for. And I wanted to prototype it with this, and then I've got the ICs that I can put on my board if it actually works. Nice. Next. Description contents switch times two. This has already got a hole in it. Let's just pull it apart. What are these? Nice. One more. Get out. Get out. These are switches for my Reflow Master. I use these as power switches on the side of the case. I like using them because they're obviously, they're quite large. They're robust. They can take way more current than I need to draw. I'm only pulling about 600 milliamps in total when I've got the Reflow Master running. And I also like them that I don't have to screw them in. They've got the little plastic things on the side. I have no idea what they're called. And so I plug them in and they stay in place. So I got a bunch of those. They're $1.40 each to buy them here. And you can see from the video description below how much they were from AliExpress, much cheaper. Okay, we have soldering iron. There's a soldering iron in here, folks. No, not really, but I know what it is. Now, this was recommended to me by someone. I can't remember who it was. Could have been, it was either Greg or Colin or Gary or someone. I can't remember who it was. I apologize. I'll uh, put it in the message below when I work it out. Oh, God, that looks nice. So these are new soldering iron tips. They come with a sponge as well. Let me just pull out one that I would use as a tip. I don't know why, but they've got black on them instead of all silver, which I think looks really great. So I needed to buy some new tips anyway. This pack also came with a replacement for the top of my iron, which is looking pretty black and disgusting and I don't know, whatever it's called. 
that happens with heat over time. So I've now got a replacement here. My iron's going to look brand new by the time I finish putting these on. So anyway, I needed new tips, and now I've got a new whatever that's called. Anyone? Nice. Okay, next we have this. Now, this is tweezers. I did not order any tweezers. I know for a fact I didn't order any tweezers. But, to see on from KC. It's not Kentucky Fried Chicken. I think that is Chris Cochran. I don't know. And if it is, this is a gift from Chris Cochran. And these are, wow. These look amazing. These are new two pairs of tweezers. But they're not, is it not metal? I don't think these are metal. I'm not quite sure what they are. Are they ceramic or something? It doesn't say on them. Wow, how nice do these look? Oh, and they're weighted really nicely as well. So there's no brand on them. I don't know what they are, but they... Chris, if it was you, thank you so much. That was really generous of you. These, wow. They're really nice. My metal ones are just getting bent at the tips and yeah, they're just becoming really problematic to work with. Okay. I'm very excited to try these out. I think you will see these on my next live stream for sure. Chris, it was you. Thank you, mate. That was very generous of you. Okay, the last two. This is from Crowd Supply. This was a Crowd Supply campaign that I backed, wow, a really, 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 really long time ago. And other people had got their product, and I hadn't. And where is it? Wow. These are little Tomu microcontroller development boards. They are, oh, I'm going to get one out. <laughs> when this was touted as the smallest microcontroller board ever, and it literally is, I'm going to have to do a close up on this. I'll do a close up in a moment. That there is the whole microcontroller board. But what makes it special is, it's a USB connector. So it fits inside this case kind of like, let's see if I can put it together, roughly like this, and that is a USB dongle. So it goes into your Type A USB port, and that is the actual microcontroller. Is that not insane? I got two of them. I did a, a, a two package one. So when I first ordered it, it didn't even look like this. It was evolving and evolving. It was just in development and production for a really long time. That is just crazy. Let's have a look. This is just, it's really, like you can see it next to my finger how big it is. It's the size of a USB plug. That is just crazy. So I believe it's a SAMD21. I can't remember now. It was so long ago. I'll do some research and I'll let you know in the description. See if I can get it back out of this Ooh. opportunity to use my new tweezers. I'm just gonna get my microscope and have a look. It's an EFM32. I don't know what that means. I'll have to uh, look it up. I'll post all the information in a little uh, pop-up below. But these, yeah, these took forever to get to me. I have no idea what I'm gonna use them for. I just thought, wow, what an amazing project. Okay, folks, it's the start of the show time. It is something so exciting, I can't begin to tell you. It's from the States. It's something I bought recently, and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. It's a tiny FPGA. It's the BX version. It's my first FPGA. Wow, let's get it out of the bag without ripping the bag if I can. Comes with a little pass receipt, which is pretty cool. And it's in here. Let's open it up. So this has been designed like a microcontroller development board. As you can see, the USB, a reset button, it's a little FPGA just here. Like, I, don't, I know nothing about FPGAs. They're all the breakout pins. So the side are pins broken out and then there are extra solder points for additional I.O. I know nothing about FPGAs, nothing at all. And apparently this is a really good way to start and learn. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. 
nothing at all. If you've got any suggestions of what I can do with it, please put it in the comments below. I really have no idea. But it just, that's the top. Look at all the different IOs it's got. Yeah, I don't know. No idea. <laughs> I know nothing about them, I told you, seriously. But I'm interested to learn. I would like to learn. I don't think I want to make my own FPGA boards, ever. I've seen some of the struggle of people going through to do that. But that is just super exciting. FPGA, baby. Okay, that's it. I got through that pretty quickly, I hope. I guess I'll find out when I finish the edit of the video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you loved it. And, yeah, until next time, bye.